very early. I don't do mornings. I'm off fish camping. I've just crossed the border into Wales. Haven't had my coffee yet. I'm sat there cooling down. It's got no milk in, only coffee powder. I've done to burn my flaps. Well, it's uh, looks like it's starting off to be a nice, lovely, sunny day. There's not a breath of wind in the air. But saying that, that's the Clwydian Hills. Might be a little bit of a different story at Bala. It's got its own weather system, hasn't it? Like Otterburn. Anyone remember Otterburn? Mucky clouds and raining. Yeah, I knew it was too good to be true. Bah. Right, we're here. Got a nice little spot. Ian's kindly uh, carrying a bit of my stuff, that's it. That's and, it. A, and a rucksack on my back. That's me lot. One rod. But Rod still didn't care. Happy days, this looks like just the ticket for me. I'll do me. Look at him with his pyjamas on. He's gone fishing in his gym jams. I think it might work better. There you go, three quid fishing. Have you sussed it now? <laughs> So it's a lovely day, isn't it? Not to be sniffed that. Rain isn't coming down sideways at Bala, but that can change. We all know that. Right, I'm going to get my gear out. That's all I've got. That's it. For an overnight pike session. Bit of wild camping. Can't beat a bit of wild camping. That's all I've got. One rod. Landing net. I'm going to park my ass on. Tackle bag. Food bag. Fresh food bag. Bit of luxury. Unlucky mat. And my fart sack. That's me lot. Right, I think I'll first I'll put the rod out and then I'm fishing the nana and then I can set my house up. Top bomber. British Army resi pouch, that's my tackle bag. So I've got, that's a part of the old Fox Micron PS. I've got a Fox Micron PS as an alarm because I've gone overnight in it. I've got an Optonic, one of my first carp alarms from 1980 something anyway. A couple of bank sticks, a few stingers, tackle box, and there's a few, a few spinners if I fancy a bit of a chuck with a spinning rod. And some forceps. So that's the lot. There goes my alarm. Probably the only time it's going to go off in it. Right. One rod Charlie. Right, bit of a cock up. The telescopic bit of that one. It's fell out in the bag by the looks of it. I chucked that in last night. Didn't check it. Bad drills. But I've got some spares that I use for cooking in my bag there. Three of them for a tripod. Bringing me pot on when I'm cooking. 
So better to have it and not need it, need it and not have it, innit? Right, this is getting even better. Brought a Fox Micron PS. Fucking threads just snapped off it now. It's all going horribly wrong. I haven't even set my rod up yet. But I might have some super glue in my bug out bag, in my wild camping bag, in my go anywhere bag. So I can glue that back in if I've got some. I think I've got some. Not too sure though. Should have. It's better to have it, not need it, need it, not have it. Right. Just connected it to race. It's £28. Wire of some sort. Single up for the old dead bait. Keep it on on the cast. A couple of size 4 trebles. And a 20. Looks like a 25. 25 mil popper. So I need a dead bait now. I've only bought three because they've got loads. So I think I'll stick a roach off to start with and then we'll have a look at Kevin later on. We've brought Kevin with us. You might remember Kevin from the land Dudno fishing. He's going to get me a 30 years. Got a little roach there. Bang him out to begin with. I got this roach off uh, Chuck Dundee. Because he caught somebody robbing fish out of a lake. He had a bag full of them. And Chuck confiscated them. It's like a small bait for that trace. But it'll do the job. Gets that in its mouth. It's coming in for a photograph, isn't it? Fucking sun out of Bala, would you believe it? Fucking Bala Highway, this. I don't know what's out there, I'm just gonna fucking chuck it out. Just hit bottom. So it's pretty deep. I'll have to sort this lot out now and I've broke my uh I've broke my <laughs> pike alarm. <laughs> We're fishing. Coast Guard. Emergency services anyway.
Nick's made me a bacon, sausage and some marsasani. I'm cheating. Somebody cooking for me. What a result. That's how you put it when you got the arm. made that one pretty low profile because if that weather comes in that way I'm sheltered with the rain lip if it's just a lean to one I'm just going to get the full force of mother nature right in me fizzog we're in here aren't we we're having yeah. a little bit of a fish a bit of a wild <laughs> camp he's in his bivy I'm not and you can tell the sun's out can't you yeah right. so, great to be back at Bala uh, it's like a breath of fresh air to me. As soon as I set foot on this place, brings back childhood memories from when I was about 17 when I first came here. Uh, fell in love with the place. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, stunning scenery in the background over there. With the mountains. Uh, just great to be here. Uh, yeah. And water love sports. It. Love it. <laughs> I've done a few water sports in the army. We won't like that. <laughs> Hope that wind gets up and they all fuck off. We've just found dumped in the woods this. Just dumped over there on the pile of trees. It's been there ages, we rooted it out. It's obviously come out of a builder's wagon, but it's full of wood. What a result. Yeah, their litter is our gain. Get rid of that, won't we? Yes. Yeah, Happy suit. days, Ronnie. <laughs> yes, come on. A builder, builders just fucking chuck that. Never mind. We'll make short work of that, and then throw it at the car, take it home. That's it.
Yeah, that bag, uh, Ian. Yes. I think what's happened there, mate, is somebody in a van, all yeah. that shit, why to get rid of it, they pulled up on the side of the road and just chucked it over just, the wall down yeah, there, aren't yeah. they? That's right, threw yeah. it, just threw it over the wall. Uh, it was down at the bottom of the wall, so they've obviously ditched it, but we've picked it up now, making use of it. As you can probably tell. <laughs> That's been sharp and well, Chris, that axe. Yeah. Take your testicles <laughs> off that, mate, a thousand yards. <laughs> believe it or believe it not, I've just saw something there I've never seen before. Some one of them paddleboard jobbies. Round the necks of phone, she's on a fucking phone, like that. Paddling along in the water. phone zombies. We're just going to um, check the depths where we're fishing. Um, this little quite simple gauge um, is made by Reuben Eaton. It's old school that isn't it? Um, yeah you can still buy them today I think they're about 15 pounds. It is very accurate. Accurate. I've, ac I've actually checked it with rod and line the measurements on it and it's spot on. Yeah. How uh, accurate is it? <laughs> <laughs> So you cast it out, let it hit the bottom, it fills with water, reads the depth, reel it in, unscrew the base, which I'll show you, uh, and shake it, all the water out, and then recast it again. And then screw that back in to recast. So it's accurate? It is. It's That's not accurate. accurate. <laughs> Go on then, cast the horizon mate, get it dumped have, out there. We're going to have a go, it, it, it'll only go to about probably 50 yards, because it weighs about an ounce, so. Oh, did you see where that went? Yeah. I did, camera didn't. Oh, that was quite deep there. But I know, I cast out before, took about six, seven, seven, eight seconds at the bottom. Right, did you bring it back in? Estimate at about 20 feet. 20 feet? I reckon I'm, I'm looking about 20 foot there. Let's have a look. That is. What's it reading? It is reading 15 foot. Oh, 15. 15 foot, mate. Ah. 15. Well, did, you did, did you reel it in too fast? Ah, let's try it again. Have another go. We'll have a you don't believe it's 15 foot, do you? Oh, I was thinking about 20. Right. Let's have another go. Nice. Cut, cut, cut. Why are you standing there yeah. and not under the trees? I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Oh, my Jesus. I was like, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Smash. Go on, have another go. <laughs> Make sure you <laughs> Oh you tree dweller you <laughs> Well then don't break my rod You'd be going for a swim Hey, you're gonna go over my line there, you crazy man. Have you lost it? No, here it is. Can't have lost it as well. Let's have a look. Bring it here. Let's have a laugh. That's now saying 20. Ah, that's about right. 20 feet. Yeah, yeah. 20 foot. 20 foot. Yeah. So if they're like as you say they are, yeah. Yeah, 20 foot. I think feet. I reeled it in too quick before. I think you did, I didn't think you did. Well, I thought you reeled it in a bit quick. I thought that didn't hit bottom. That was before you smashed into the trees.
<clears throat> See if we can get it going with a bit of fat wood. We need a pot grab, don't we? Can't be going to pull the nut off with my hands. First egg kit will be coming out. Right, so boiling the bag. It's not Bill Cosby rice this time, it's cheapo nasty from Aldi or Lidl or whatever I get it from. <clears throat> We've seen it before, tin of tuna and a bit of sweet chilli.
Uff. Geht da gut stehen. A bit of sweet chili sauce in there, I think. I'll do mate. Put in a little bag. Don't burn your hands. Mmm. That's nice, especially when you're hungry. See that tuna? Didn't shoot that. Can catch it either. It's a fish. I don't catch fish. Right, let's have a recast. It's, uh, it's two o'clock. Still there, but he's hanging off. Give him another hour. Just the bottom. Yeah, 20 feet there, isn't it? Get some water. Oh, Might take a while to film this. Bang on that. So your water filter. Cracking bit of kit. So if you've got water. And you got one of them. Oh, it's got clean water.
got a straw as well. Drink straight out of the lake. Right. Got me lucky charm. It's Kevin, the fresh man macro from Van Dudno. That's what I caught that night. He's bagged, tagged, and been frozen. So Kev is going to get me a 34 pounder? Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Let's not be greedy. So we'll chuck him out. Nice tough skin, so he should stay until tomorrow unless Pikus Interruptus comes along and smashes him up, which is what we want him to do. Now that's fresh fish. Right, let's get it in. Right, so Kev, on you go son. You are the lucky mackerel. That's gone right through his bone. So there we have, that's the lucky fish guys, that's what's going to get it, I'm going to need a bigger landing net, it's only 52 inches. Mwah. Come on little Kev, do your magic. Hit bottom, gone over that shell. Happy day. We're in business. Right, can have a brew now. Very warm now. Must have a bit of cold lake water won't sort it out.
that's the ticket, lads. That is the ticket. Let that burn down now, bit. Get some off embers ready for my dinner. And I didn't kill it. Honest. Ten minutes. Back of the onion bag. Kevin done the job. It would have been out ten minutes. That single look again, he's got him. That's my It's a beauty, isn't it? He's a fucking. He got me. Love the fish on his back. He got me. It's bigger than you think. So bomber, <laughs> lucky Kev from Land Dubno did the trick. <laughs> right, we've got to go. Thirteen three on zero scales. Yeah. Thirteen pound three ounces. Happy days, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well done, Kevin. And I lost Kev. <laughs> Kev's gone forever. <laughs> Thirteen pounds three ounce. Bala Pike. Can you not knock it? Got a bit of a chunk out of his tail and his back fin. Someone's had a go at that. Probably a bigger one than this. It's not a blank. 
It's not a blank! <laughs> Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go She's gone. Happy days. So little Kev did the trick, but I lost him in the battle. So, I've got his brother, Matthew. He's going out, popped up again, same rig. Gonna whack him just over the shelf again. And if with any luck, we might have another. But it doesn't matter. I'm happy now. Bottom. Right, time for a bit of scoff, I think. It's quarter past seven. Whoa. What a nice juicy big steak. A bit of 4B3. <laughs> Another bit of 4B3 out of that bag. Come in handy that. Just hope we'll get it cooked before it burns away. Ooh, we'll have to be careful here. Ooh, check that bad boy out. I have to put some uh, water on the old uh, bits of wood there. Stop them burning away so quick. Looking good. We're going to have some grilled tomatoes and rump steak. Aren't we, Ian? That's it, yeah. Can you not knock it? 
Right, because it's a nice thick steak, that's going to get burnt before it gets cooked. So I'm going to stick it in a bit of tin foil so it can cook nicely through. Get it in a bit of foil because he don't like it with blood in it. I mean the steak. That's going to take a while, that. There we go, that's the ticket. So we're living the dream, man. Yeah. Living the dream. Nice bit of steak. Been got a bit of cucumber. <laughs> Go on, Bertie. That's not been up your pooper, has it? <laughs> I hope not. What do you need? Big touch with a green light. You big gay fudge monkey. Is that green or white? That's white, mate. Is that great? That's great. Yeah, the great man. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky traffic light, Ed. Great man. Got a chopper. A few tomatoes. For now, on it. Bit of salt and pepper on them. Oh, just the ticket. Hey. Yeah, go on then, mate. Kitchen devil. Kitchen devil. Kitchen devil. You're going out fishing in the woods at Bala with double. a kitchen devil. They're brilliant. That's a righty. Brilliant. It's not an in the woods devil. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Hey. Want a smoke? Yeah. No. It's blown in your face, not mine. Put them thicker than that, mate. Thicker? Chunky bits, yeah. You're oh, not yeah. making a sandwich. Not that. You're not in kitchen now. Go on, how big? Yeah. Bigger? Uh, yeah, about half inch. Half inch. Right, so we've got steak tomatoes, a bit of cucumber, a bit of vinegar in an obersoil bottle. Apparently, it took him months to clean all the obersoil out of that. I bet it still tastes of <laughs> toothpaste. We've got a few chilli flakes, 
bit of Himalayan rock salt, bit of grilled critter and some pepper. So we've got some spices for our fantastic little bit of scoff. Right, give me plate a quick clean. I bought a little plate, dish, bowl type thing from uh, Decathlon, £1.50 and I'm buggered if I can find it. So there's my plate for tonight. Yeah. Ding dang do. The cucumber. You're going to what? Dress the cucumber. We're going to put his pants back on. Vinegar. Oh my god, the smoke's got me. Has it? Yeah. Let's put that on there for now. Yeah, that's it. Cucumber dressing. I'm gonna need the foil. Ooh, still hot that. The fire. Oh, that's a nice bit of steak. Oh, the light's gone out. Let's pull that back on. Of course, we're putting the tomatoes on now. There we go, that's the ticket. Right, just turn them tomatoes over. And what we'll have on there, I don't want that. A bit of Himalayan rock salt. Put the top on, I'll kick it over. bit of a couple of cheeky chilli flakes might need a couple more of them Press them in so they don't come off. And wherever it's gone, a little bit of pepper. Nope, that's not pepper. That's grill credit. That's pepper. A little bit of pepper. Oh, they're well seasoned now. And a bit of vinegar on the old cucumber. And we've got our Charlie Drake. Ricky Lake. Happy days, are you ready? Yeah. Whoa, look at that steak. Oh, check that bad boy out! <laughs> I 
got a fork hiding in there somewhere. There we go. Oh, oh that smells nice, that. And that's cooked beautifully. Yeah. Oh, lovely here you go mate. Let's take that on your plate. Cheers. That's my plate. A right. couple of uh, tomatoes yeah. mate. Yeah. Oh, here's your plate because we're going to throw it. One. These will go everywhere otherwise two. Right, I'll pinch a couple of uh, how's your fathers and vinegar. In fact, I'm going to use my hands. There we go. Brush it. I'm going to put mine in there because they're going to fall off otherwise. Ah, the light's gone out. I've got to find the button in the dark. There she is. There we go. Bit of steak, bit of vinegar cucumber, and a couple of seasoned tomatoes, just to my liking. I was going to say we can eat it round the old campfire, but we've only got a few embers left at the moment. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Steak and tomato. That's nice. Fantastic. Lovely, that, isn't it? Yeah. Let's uh, taste your vinegar a la cucumber. Oh, it's nice, that. Mmm. Beautiful. Better than going to the steakhouse. It is. It's Check. more fun and it's not been a blank. <laughs> That's the main thing. Oh, that steak's nice. Beautiful. It's well done. And it's nice and soft. Beautiful. Nice and tender. Let's try a tomato. Oh yeah. Oh you can you can just get that chili kick now. Oh they're spicy chilies. They are spicy chilies, young Ian. Beautiful. Mm. Well chaps, that's absolutely Jim Dandy. And the best thing of all, the weather's laid off, isn't it? Yeah, it's been bloody nice it has. For Bala. I think it's one of the best days that I've been here. We've had a few emits, like, but that's expected this time of year, isn't it? Yeah. So we're sitting around the old log fire, and Ian has gone to get some pudding, some afters. Apparently, we're having peaches and carnation cream. In tins. So, I've just made short work of the old everyday essentials Aldi peaches sliced in a light syrup because there's nothing better than having a tin of peaches and a tin of carnation cream after you've just had a lovely barbecue with some fresh food there, is there? Because he's from oh. Birmingham. Oh, he hates that. Surprise. Apple crumble. Apple okay. crumble? Oh. With carnation milk. No, we've got peaches now. Well, then, yeah. We could have a bit of both. We could. How about that? How about that? How's yeah. that grab you? Yeah. Better go now. Yeah, give that two punch roll. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, let me have a good, quick. Oh, nice your milk. God, oh, I used to open this all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Got to open both sides and it pulls out. That's there it. we go, that's the ticket. Yeah, yeah. So take your peaches and cream, and I'll bung mine in the old Vera Lynn. Ugh. Around the old campfire. Oh, me lights on. <laughs> Do you want a spoon? Yeah. Shovel it out with that spoon. Yeah. That's the ticket. I know, that's a titanium spoon. It's from? lightweight. Where do you get that yeah, from? because that makes a difference in a 65 pound rucksack. Yeah. Right. Even though I keep it in my pocket. Now, are we going to have some apple crumble? Yeah, get some apple crumble yeah. in there. We'll have a proper nosh up. Yeah. Right. Proper nosh up. Hold on, hold on. Don't be going on fat. Yeah. I've even cut it up ready into slices. Oh, yeah. In a How am I going to get that in my tin? Eh? We'll have to shove that in my tin. Apple crumble. Yeah, I'll have that. And you, you want some more slices? No, no. It's a bit, let's see. Right, yeah, put that in. Empty the juice. Well, you know, you don't have the juice, do you? Put that in. Mm. Empty that out. Put that in. Yeah. That's it. Right, put it in with the juice. <laughs> yeah, we go. That's the ticket, Professor. Yeah, it's not like a barbecue. I'm eating tin fruit. Out of the tin. We're having three. I've not had this carnation since I was a kid. We're having three. That takes me back. Night. We are, haven't we? Yeah. What do we have for starters? Um, we didn't have any. Ah. Uh, mm. <laughs> well, we had a pike. Nice pick. I'll have them in a bit, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just making tidy work of this uh, tin of peaches. Mmm. Yep. Carnation milk on top of the apple crumble. Oh, carnation milk in light syrup. Man's bit 70s. <laughs> That's a nice pie. I'm going to have a bit of a uh, juice on the apple crumble. Oh, check that out. Now we're just getting silly. Well, it all goes down the same hole. And that's the other one tomorrow. No smoke coming off that sort of thing, isn't that? I know. fire that, mate. Ooh. Bedtime for this teddy bear. Oh, get these boots off! I haven't got my racing slippers either. Another job getting these on in the middle at night. Oh. Happy days. Get a good kip, have another go tomorrow. You never know, might be something in the middle of the night. Oh. Good old British Army DOS bag. It's the medium weight in this weather. Ooh. Yeah, you know it makes sense. Oh, empty my pockets. Don't be lying on that lot. Oh. Not much headroom in a ro low-profile bass here. Well, this one I'm lying down. Oh. Night, night, kids.
So, not last night, obviously. However, there was a couple of peeps this morning. About half past five, six o'clock. Well, he didn't go tearing off like that one yesterday. Oh. And the water's gone down a bit. Hmm. It hasn't been raining at Bala. Yeah. So when it piss it down, lakes tend to fill up, don't they? Water levels rise. And then you get up in the morning and your pod's underwater. But I remember that from last time. So during the night when I was rolling over with backache, I like that going, fuck it, I'm getting old. Yeah. I kept opening one eye like that and having a look and see if the water level's risen. I expected it to be up here and everything floating away. Yeah. But it didn't. Right, let's have some breakfast and a brew. Lo and behold, Ian's just popped over just in time to make me breakfast. What did you bring? Did you bring some breakfast? <laughs> what you got? Oh god. Open it up then. Come on, let me have a look. Is it bacon, <laughs> eggs, sausage? Oh, okay. Okay. A marathon. Some dead fish. Some sardines. Sardines. I want breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to knock up breakfast now anyway mate. Do you want bacon, sausage, black pudding? Yeah. On yeah. flatbread.
Right, I'll reel this in now. I'll be surprised if that mackerel's still there, to be honest. Didn't do any good though, did it? Like, uh, like Kev. So we're gonna have a change. Bit of eel section. Got no food about, have you? Huh? Got no food about. We've got loads of food. Oh, have you? Why? Is your dog gonna eat it all? I'm going to ask you Let's see. Come on. Come on. Love them. There's hooks and everything here. Hooks? Hooks, yeah, because I'm fishing in case. That's what we're talking about. You see how the fish? Yeah. Fucking Karen comes along with a dog, takes a fucking dump right in the middle of my peg. Yeah. And I want to say, you want to put it on a lead, there's hooks about. Hooks? You haven't got any food, have you? You have got loads of food and camping. They're not right in the head. And then, when the dog swallows a fucking pike trace, yeah, and she's got a 600 quid bet bill, it'll all be my fault. Karen's of 2020. They're mad. They're even worse when they've got dogs. Right, so I'll shut this eel section out, lads. See if we can nab one while I'm making breakfast.
Looks like that weather's coming in. Right Ian, what are we having? Where's oh. my black bag gone? I think we'll have some. It is bacon, Cumberland sausage mate, and black pudding. And a bit of tomato. Bit of tomato. With bacon is not the same without tomato. Isn't it? It's too dry. You have to have a little bit of tomato just to give it... Is that a Birmingham thing, is it? Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> you don't from Birmingham, are you? I'm not from Birmingham. <laughs> little bit of garlic oil, chilli oil, garlic chilli, bit of both, that's why it's red. How do you want to go? No, ma, no, I don't want a big frying pan. I thought you asked me if it was. Yeah, but not now. Okay. So, some squirrely pig's tail Cumberland sausage. And I haven't washed my trotters. <laughs> Oh no, I just got these from a little uh, little shop by me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, curly, sausage. So sausage, we've got a bit of bacon and a bit of black pudding. Sit down a bit. Yeah. Bit of the Berry Black Pudding Company. Needs a better WD that doesn't doesn't fall open. Go and get some bread. Yeah, go and get the bread here. Bread. Still alive? You're not dead yet then? Right. These sausages have fell to bits, mate. Have they? Yeah. 
so it's going to be chopped sausage, bacon and black pudding. Oh yeah, proper felt a bit. Never mind, we're going to mash sausage. Have you got some tools? Yeah. We might get away with that then by scraping it. Good isn't that, eh? Big enough, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Won't get that in you. Survival bag, would you? Right. right. Oh, look, yours just fell on the floor. <laughs> Ian. What? What is this? No. Are you a wrongan? <laughs> Are you a wrongan with that rainbow <laughs> unicorn glittery diary? I'm Barkins! You're a wrongan! It is our Barkins! <laughs> now I've got some notes in there, I don't think I can do this. Don't ask me about now, mate, I know nothing. <laughs> the internet keeps telling me that. I know absolutely sweet Fanny Adams. <laughs> Right, did you bring a plate? Because uh, we're going to have to dump this on a plate. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it. While we cook the rest of the stuff. Because that do not look how it was when it went in. Roger, Roger Trout. So we've had an out then, Nick. Nothing. Now. Apart from that bloke who had one extra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nick, uh, a boat come past on the boat fishing yesterday, about 30, 40 yards out, if that, if that, must have been about, yeah, probably about 20 or 30 yards out, he come past, started fishing in his swim with a lure, and caught one, right in front of his peg. Uh, I've had a woman this morning, come here, yeah, dog just took his shit right in front of me bivvy, in front of me basher. And play out? Yeah, that thing. Yeah. And what? then she said, you haven't got any food, have you? Yeah, they have got food and camping. I said, you want to watch out for the hooks as well. Hooks? Hooks? And I'm thinking, that's what we catch the fish with. But not till half past three. <laughs> I knew it was too early to come to Bala, mate. I knew it. Oh, it's too many people. I knew summer had happened. And we're just here minding our own business. Aren't we, Ian? Hey. What are you doing with your pyjamas on, anyway? <laughs> yeah, well you said that your gym jam's on, you got yours on as well. Yeah, but I've only just got up. Have you been going for that mountain you fed over there while I've been asleep? I am well, cut me to me mate. Have you got a flap at the back? Have you got a flap at the back that he pulls down? Like the old cowboys, uh, long like, johns and shit. You have shit. to have them, obviously. Yeah, but they're supposed to be for when you take a poo, not when you go fucking broke back mountain with your mucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. What you can do, Ian, should you wish, yeah. what is your task? Should you wish to accept it, yeah. which cut, you will, cut that up. no, I'm going to cut it, you're just going to peel all the uh, foreskin off it. How many is there now? Uh, One, two, three, four, five. Six. There you go, mate. Happy days. That'll do us. Watch yourself, that's very sharp. Oh, 
bacon leaves and a bacon tree. No, I saved a bit for cooking this morning. Yeah. yeah. Can do, mate. Uh, just stick it all in. You took your meal. <laughs> you put it in my way. Have I? Alright. That's, 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 what, that's what the women say. Hey! Put it in the wrong way. <laughs> put it in. Oh, 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 you put it in the wrong one. And the pooper. <laughs> Right, so let's get the old black pudding on the go. Now, like a bed of pig's blood to satisfy one's appetite early morning in downtown North Wales. Hey, before we go, we've got to try and find out the culprit of the snoring last night. Oh yeah, there was a snoreaholic last night. We could hear him, even though the wind was blowing in a little bit. We heard the snorers. Snorers. We'll go and have a look, see who the snorers are. We'll go and find them in a bit. Once we've had our breakfast, mate, <laughs> we'll go hunt the snorers. I'm not making a, I'm not making flatbread. I haven't got bloody time now. Should have knocked it up this morning prior to doing this, but half asleep yeah. and all that. That's my excuse anyway, I'm sticking to it. So we're having warbies instead. I didn't bring it. Rainbow Notebook here did. <laughs> Don't blame me, blame old Borgins. I the one that I there. Yeah, but didn't you have a choice and you picked no. a glittery a rainbow one? <laughs> you do, they do notebooks in black, you know. I know that because I've got one. <laughs> Mine's black. <laughs> Let's give the old. Uh, Bravo Papa, a quick turn. Cut it nice and thick, then it didn't fall to bits. Days. We're on a winner. No, there's no way, mates. Well, not for now. It is Sunday. We'll be coming in by boatload soon. <laughs> a nice greasy fry up here. Yeah. And if we're really lucky, we might get another fish. You never know, it's coming up to the time. I always yeah. like between. Is it pike o'clock? Like 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. It's nearly pike o'clock. Well, a good time is 10. Outside between ten and a half, twelve. Yeah, yeah. Ten and a half, twelve. Happy days. That's witching hour. Witching but of hour. course, yeah. If you're a dog walking Karen <laughs> in Clangower, you cannot catch fish in Wales after half past three. Ah. <laughs> it's only twenty past ten, so we might be in luck. What clowns they are! Shut up, Karen. 
give them sausages a quick blast, re-eat them, cook them through. We can have some scuff. I'm looking forward to this scuff. <laughs> We're all looking forward to it. Let's put kettle on, mate. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get the bread out mate. Yeah. I think we've got just enough wood to boil the kettle. Right. Two for you. Yeah. Two for you. Not your plate. I'm going to put on top of the pan for now. Hey, take note. Put it by the kettle. Not mouldy this time. Oh, you not got mouldy bread this time? No, really. You just got your dirty hands all over it. Yeah. Feel how soft it is. Ah, oh, <laughs> soft white warbies. There we go. There's my bread. Right, that's it. Yeah. So. Stops it being dry, then it the sandwich. But it's a master as well. Be rude not to. Yeah. Look at that. Chop banana. Go on. Oh yeah, I have to sort it out. Good job I put it in that pan, won't it? There you go, there's your breakfast. Yeah. Ah, I throw a man all over the floor. Yeah, you know that's going everywhere. It's going everywhere, isn't it? On bargains. 79p for three. Can you not knock it? doing it in yours bit by bit. Shove it all in your fat face like this. <laughs> mm. Don't you look like a proper pig? Just like me. Right, let's have one more shot for an hour. Pot on. On the shelf. Right, that's it. Another day, another dollar. Umbala. At least we got one this time, didn't we? Happy days. So I'm going reel in, and I mean in, I'm going for a bit of a mooch, a bit of a recce. Yeah, around the other side there. So it's not been a blank. It's two o'clock. I'll get it on for two o'clock. I've got to go work tomorrow.
nothing. Right, that's it. All sided up. Get rid of this shape. Go for the moots around the other side. That's it. We've got a pipe. Winner winner's chicken dinner. Right, reconnaissance. What's he done to your tomato, mate? That was for tea tonight. He's had me tomato. That the eels had it. Was it the That's eels? Meant for uh, bacon and sausage. The eels had it. <laughs> Where's and, me tomato gone? And I insect all your tomatoes and <laughs> all your bacon. They ain't on left. The cheeky eels in here, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I tell you. <laughs> so we've, uh, there was strange goings on in the night. Ooh. I woke up. In the early hours of the morning, it was about uh, around about two o'clock, uh, and it was pitch black in my bivvy. What, two o'clock in the morning, it was dark? It was, yeah. There was a slight noise of the wind, and as I was lying there, quietly, I could hear a very faint grunt stroke snoring noise. And I thought, what the? It sounded just like it was at the back of my bivvy. And I kept listening, I thought, I froze, I was a bit fearful, I thought, what's happening? And I thought, I could hear this snoring stroke, I don't know, like a, snooze, like a snoring noise. And I thought, that's strange that is, there must be somebody outside. The Were meat. you scared? I was, yeah, I froze solid. Did you? Yeah, froze solid. Oh, funny. So, uh, it went on for a good ten minutes. And I thought, I've got to go and have a look. So I put my light on, I opened my door and I went outside to the next bivvy up to see if it was coming from there. But it wasn't. He was asleep, but there was no snoring. So it was no. totally baffling. Right. Then I went back to my bivvy. I'm in I, work tomorrow, come on. I went back to my bivvy and I went back in my sleeping bag. And as soon as I put my head down and got back in the sleeping bag, the noise reappeared. And we've found the culprits. We've found the culprits. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. <laughs> you sounded like a snoring donkey and you scared my little friend. <laughs> what are you looking at? Snorers. Black sheep matter. Snorers. That's the church, just to our left. He brought his rod with him. Hey. <laughs> it's a fishing recce. So we've come for a bit of a recce. We brought a plastic bag and a litter picker because we know what we're going to find. Yeah, there's another one. There's one there. One there. Oh, look at them all here. Yeah, this is what I saw last time I was here. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, it's not been cleared up since. Nobody's took the initiative. No, not mate. No, no wonder the Welsh people who can live in tourist destinations don't fucking like us. How can they do it? I just yeah. don't know. Really don't know. So they don't have to carry it back. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, 
cái vỏ ốp and a quilt. Unbelievable. She's coming to earth. It's Bala Choo Choo Train. All got face nappies on. Hey, don't mind my look. What? You know you're what? Get next. What, what, for fly tipping? <laughs> yeah, get you for fly tipping. <laughs> Bala Pike, um, £11.12 at the crack of dawn, which seems to be a good time. Uh, caught on a on a smelt. Yeah. What a fish. That's it. Right. A steam bag. Oh, <laughs> shit. 